Call the meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. of the previous meeting. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Oh, oh, oh. We have a motion and a second to approve the uh, Any additions or corrections to the meeting? Seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Full same sign. Motion carries, and then it's your approval. I saw that. Could we add? Yeah. <laughs> Could amend the agenda to approve the agenda? Yeah. Does anybody have anything to uh, add to the agenda? Motion to approve, and we have a second to approve the agenda as printed. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Brother. I got two estimates here to do some carpeting up in public, some of the public health offices. One from Lamont for 2846 and one from Thompson's for 3297. Putting in carpet squares, of course. Um, I see no reason not to go with the bid from Lamont's. Is there a low bid? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the low bid from Lamont's to do the carpeting of the public health offices, and it's four offices, correct? Yes. Okay, further discussion. Seeing none, roll call, please. Griff? Aye. Olson? Aye. Brown? Aye. Wakefield? Aye. Lightcock? Aye. Motion here. That's all you got? That's it. Short and sweet. I like it. You've done it no time. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, you're up. All right. I guess the first thing is to our annual software maintenance for GIS software is up three thousand dollars, I guess. Is that the same as last year? Yeah. Yeah, and we've always shared the three thousand and then the city picks up the twenty five hundred. Right. Every year is the same, so it's a good deal for both of us. Hope to approve. Okay. We have a motion to approve uh, paying the bill. To work to our bank bill for the GNS, we have a second. Right. We have a second. We have a discussion. Who's that? Uh, that's it. Okay. Did you sneeze? Yeah. Put that on the record. Yeah. Uh, seeing, no, yeah. <laughs> seeing no further discussion, we'll call, please. Olson? Aye. Wakefield? Aye. Frith? Aye. Brown? Aye. Lightfoot? Aye. Motion carries. Up. I guess the second thing is I'd like to request out of state travel to the user conference for, for that software again. Yes, sir. And the registration for that conference is free with uh, renewed membership for our maintenance, huh? Yes. It is. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. How, many, how many days is it? Five. Move to approve. Second. One question. You got to see your budget. Yeah. That's all I have. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve the out-of-state travel to the GIS conference. That's kind of a good deal that they you know, work with them. They wage the fee on it. For That's them. something you've been going to for several years and and got a lot out of it. I, I think, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. I've been to some of the other more specialized trainings in Minneapolis or, and get far less out of that because the software updates so every year that what you learned last year at this one training that cost end up costing more than learning. We were talk, talk, talking, talking into uh, having a conference and January, so you could go to San Diego yeah. in January. Hotel <laughs> rates are cheaper in the yeah. summer in San Diego. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Not 
Okay. Um, we need roll call on this? Sure. Okay. Roll call, please. Olson? Aye. Brown? Aye. Frith? Aye. Wakefield? Aye. Mike Pond? Aye. Motion carries. All right, I was going to say, Steve, I just remember what I was going to say. I appreciate the fact that you come, you always give us a, a, a summary of what you learned and what you went over, because it's always good to know what, you know, yeah. what was happening there, so I appreciate that. Yeah. We have one more thing, correct? Yes, I guess just an FYI that planning to upgrade the GIS server on Friday afternoon, that so the parcel viewer may be down for the afternoon, I guess. Oh, I think everything is set up right, but there's always got to coordinate with ITD where they're changing the names of the servers, which where it's pointed to, it, so everything will work. But okay. So come, is this a come Monday, I think. It, okay. I would. Everything should be. Fine, so this is a new this is a new server. This isn't a new server. It's just an upgrade to the current server. Yeah, I okay. it, it's a new, <coughs> completely new, I guess, but okay. nothing. Just that another, some, is that something you think we should have on our website that it'll be down for temporarily over the weekend, maybe or possibly? Yeah, I can put out a notice on. The, no. Flash, news flash. No. flash. Yeah, when you try to access it or whatever, too, or yeah, next yeah. to where you access it, yeah, it'll be down. Yeah, they got some possibilities. And uh, Steve, just from my own understanding, is this, a, is this a hardware or a software upgrade? It's both, I guess. Hardware and the old one, I guess it's probably six years old now. And it's been upgraded. Four or five times, just software-wise, that and it's still on the old Windows Server 2008. So, upgrading it to the newer, a newer version. Yeah, I'll probably bring it into the decade. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only ten years old. Come on. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to add on there. Yeah. Our yeah. 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 works really, really well. Yeah, that's I think a nice, one of the best ones in the state. Yeah, I think we do too. It's a, it's a nice function. And, yeah. to and everything cool. should be back, I guess, similar to at least what it is by Monday. Yeah. It'll be easier to improve it once. Just take your phone off and I'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you ever meet with Calvary County? Yeah, yeah. I went today. This morning. Oh, you went today? Okay. Yeah. And they're still deciding what they want to do. I guess. They I went up to you. No, they. They, they, want, they don't want, have online GIS, do they? No, they, they don't, don't have. Right. They they've got a. Oh, well, they do. Through Sidwell, they. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. they were um, talking about maybe right. doing something a little different. They're, they kind of want to do Steve, no. right? Well, that's kind of what. Uh, who was it in here? Stanley Dick. Yeah. 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 I mean, they like what we have and how they. To go about getting that. Like, they were one asking on I mean, all sorts of questions. <coughs> they did? Yeah. Okay. And just even like, who around here does that? Or like, where could they find more people to? They're, probably, they're looking into every possibility, I guess, for hiring somebody else. Or, you tell them you're going to a conference with 18,000 other uh, <laughs> GIS <laughs> I told them that there were I lots of people at UND. It's still a land in a very bold state. place. Yeah. It's yeah. And it's a beautiful town. Okay, very good. Thank right. you. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Steve was informed on that calendar call. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah. get back to you or anything else. All right. <coughs> uh, highway Department agenda. Uh, Kevin, as you said last meeting, uh, couldn't be here for this meeting, so we could just go down the agenda. Uh, we got some more summer maintenance contracts in, I think. Is this the remainder of them, or is your special um, Dry Lake was dry one lake more. Okay. Is. Did, oh, do they, did that come in? Yeah. So we're adding that in. Okay, so we're signing Cooley, Klingstrup, Northfield, Overland, uh, South Manawaka, Triumph, and Dry Lake. We do the motion for the auditor to transfer the summer. Second. 
We have a motion and a second to approve signing uh, summer maintenance contracts with those townships. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 All the same sign. Motion carried. Okay, uh, bid results for projects and supplies that were opened on April 6th. Let me... We got them all together? Yeah, just the bid list. That's yeah, probably the easiest. Uh, and I can just say what the different bids were and then we can go from there. I guess we could do one at a time. So the gravel projects on uh, 6 and 4. Uh, Silver Construction had the low bids on both projects at uh, 34200 for number 6 and 37800 for number uh, 4. Uh, I'm going to approve on the low bid for Silver Construction. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the low bid for silver construction. Uh, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, Chip Seal Project. Kevin says he recommends that we award the low bid for Ramsey County 2, uh, Crary Road, Woods, Rutten, and the Terminal Road to Morris Seal Coat. Uh, they have done our Chip Seal's request 10 years or so, and they're they have the low bid at uh, 335, 375. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the bid for more seal coat. Uh, for the chip seal projects. Further discussion. We don't do roll call on these, do we? Uh, not until we pay the bill, right? Yeah. Yeah, I always forget. That's okay. Good. Okay. Uh, further discussion. Seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. Okay, and hot mixed overlays. Uh, Kevin says, I recommend that we accept the quotes from both Strata and Tri-State Paving in case Strata's plant is not set up and running. And Strata will be doing the overlay patches. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve uh, bids from both Strata Corporation and Tri-State Paving. Uh, so Tri-State's going to be a contingency acceptance. Is that right? Uh, that Strata can't perform the function? Yeah. They're kind of in bed together, aren't they? I don't even know in all honesty. So. Yeah, because their, their price is the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah, they both have the low bid technically. So. They yeah. come with the same bid. So. Yeah, this is what we've cut. We've done it in the past as well, too, I think. Just I think they take the oil out of the same tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. I think Kevin said that. <laughs> Motion and a second to approve that. Further discussion. Seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. Uh, and road oil. Uh, we had bids for MC800 and MC3000. Uh, uh, Kevin wrote, since we use more MC800, I would recommend that we award the quote from uh, Calumet Superior. Which was we'll approved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. That was the little bit at five hundred and sixty-two dollars per ton. Uh, for the discussion, seeing none, all in favor, vote by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Oh, you want that one, sir? Sorry, sir. We'll let him write on it. Um, did he, did Kevin, have the results on the thin lip overlay bids? Um, that should have been laying on your desk. Oh, it that was just this year. Yeah, it came right email. Oh, okay, there we go. So this was all stuff we're using federal money on, so this is the things that were bid through Bismarck. Uh, for Ramsey County Warren Military Road, while I drive in the Terminal Road. It appears as though... Strata got the low bid. At 885, 958, 14. What is the DBE? Yeah. The DBE, the percentage there? Oh, I don't know. I'm just curious because some of them are higher and some of them are lower. Is that a down payment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if maybe it's a, a, the percentage of the total that's the mobilization fee or something, because some companies use mobilization fees and some don't, I think. But I don't know. Yeah. You don't have a reputation we're trying to take. No, because he, he, didn't have, uh, he didn't have the bids. Uh, 
A lot of my is like Dubai, you know, ninety percent Dubai, whatever. I don't yeah. know. I don't, yeah, that's a good question. I, that's what I was just looking at the bid number there and seeing what, what it is here. On his email that goes with that, it says this bid is for a thin, thin lift overlay paving project. Um, to hand him out at the meeting, I don't think the state will have the contract ready, but I did get that by email today. Um, if you could make a motion to accept the low bid from Strata. Um, he did have a million dollar budgeted for it. We were estimating around 984,000 um, and Strata is almost 98,000 under what we estimated. Move to approve. Second. <coughs> we have a motion and a second <coughs> to award the bid for then left over those this summer to Strata Corporation <coughs> with a little bit further discussion. Curious to know what 2.35 percent means. <laughs> well, Kevin's making a recommendation. I trust him. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I just don't. Yeah. Well, we'll have to ask Kevin when we see him next time. We should maybe do a motion. This is the contract to go with. Yes. That was part of his, you know, that he didn't know if we were going to get it. It's just a resolution that you have to sign and send back to the state. Oh, so the motion we're making now is to accept it, and then we'll need a motion to sign the contract. <coughs> okay, who made the motion? I did. Who made the second? I did. Is it okay if we wrap in just signing the contract with the word in the contract at the same time? No. Okay. I think that's fine. So. Good enough. Yeah. Okay. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor vote by saying aye. Aye. Both the same sign. Motion carries. And just for informational sake, uh, Kevin, obviously you said our pickup and service body is done and it should be here in two to three weeks. So that's good. It'd be nice to have it for when we get it on. Okay. discussed lake access, uh, putting on and off the ice, etc, etc. Susie was here. After the meeting was adjourned and I left the building, then there was discussion about me being on board for lake access. I have tried continuously to get Susie to mail me out a copy of the agenda, uh, which she kind of refuses basically told me to get into the 21st century because she's too busy to, to mail me agenda. And you know, I guess I'm just too busy to fight with her. So if somebody else wants on that board, have at it. I just thought it was in very, very poor taste to sit here and talk about it in front of the board and then agenda, uh, adjourn the meeting and then after I leave the meeting then talk about it. I thought that was in very poor taste. So. I guess I don't want to deal with it anymore. So if anybody would like my position, it's more than available. Just one thing to add, they asked for a removal of a commissioner while well, I was chairman, which would have been, what year, I don't know, four years ago or something. In like in July, I didn't know. Right, that was the end of the year. Okay. But I, but I met with them out there at the chamber. They called me out there and meet. Well, since you had to put up with it until the end of the year. But it was, maybe it was even August, because it was like, well, we don't have much fishing season left here. So, so this, is, this is essentially the same situation then? Yeah. Well, I didn't get board member. I was going to the meetings and everything, but they were just scrambling with that board member. Well, I would attend the meetings if I knew when they were. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I know. Because I attend every meeting that, you know, comes up and uh, I requested and now she's too busy and doesn't have time and okay. it's not that I'm missing meetings because I don't want to go to the meeting it's missing meeting because I don't know when the meeting is. Uh, 
portfolios that they have three passes and they can pick what commissioner they want. I don't think that's right at all. It's what commissioners we assign or we as a commission group, you know, agree upon. Just for the fact that we're not sending a letter, that's well, I, I did, did, I did do some checking, checking to see if. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that's that. That's pretty childish to use that as an excuse. Well, then, and they did send a letter to me, the silver, and I wasn't aware of it. Wasn't. But I did check to see if she was required to let, send me a letter if I asked for it, and she was. Oh, from, from the standpoint of yep. meeting adjustment, yep. meeting yep. announcement, and things yep. like that. Okay. So just, just to clarify, because I feel like two different conversations are happening here. Mark, you of your own volition no longer want to have, have a seat on that. Is that well, correct? I just, you know, I, I guess I'm very disappointed in the behavior. You know, I asked for a copy of when their meetings were, and, and we're basically told, you know, no, get, in, get into the 21st century. And to talk about me after the fact that I leave the building is just childish. You know, if you got something to say to me, I mean, you and I don't agree on things, Lucas, and we'll talk about it, but then we're done, you know? Sure. And, and yeah, that, and, and so, I, I understand exactly where you're coming from. I just want to clarify. Yeah, Because, yeah. because it, you know, listening to what Ed was saying, I, I'm trying to figure out if we're having a situation where uh, the organization is trying to force off a board member, or if the board member wants to leave, but it sounds like it's some combination of the two. It's some combination of the two. I mean, if the prior one I was involved in, they were trying to force them off. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and I, I, I agree. I don't, I don't think that the outside board should have any decision on who the, you know, we, we see who we feel like <coughs> to have seated. <laughs> it's just that simple. And then just for clar clarity's sake, too, when I, they talked to me, and then I went and talked to Mark about it, you know, sure. the next day or just so he knew what was going on, uh, just so he didn't get blindsided by it or anything like that, so he knew what was going on, too, and we discussed it. But, but once again, then why didn't they contact yeah. me? And I, and I don't disagree with that. If you don't want to be on, then I don't have a problem with that. That's up to you guys. I mean, no, somebody no, wants it. It's, it's up to you. Yeah, it's well, I, I guess my only point would be then I would I would like a letter, you know, stating that you need to to uh, send me a letter when the meetings are due. I mean, send a letter to Susie, requiring that she sends me notification of the meeting. I mean, otherwise, the same thing's going to go on. I have no problem with that. Well, is it going to be a very good working relationship going beyond this? You know, um, because obviously there's some, probably some hard feelings there. Um, I can still go to meetings. I go to meetings every day that there's hard feelings, and when we're done, we're done. <laughs> You know? Well, and I think, you know, to everyone's point, I think we've got to strike a balance between trying to make a working relationship versus bending over for, you know, a, I agree with that. Yeah. When they asked me that time, I just said, no, put up with them until the end of the year. Then we'll make a change. And they will change after that. I just didn't feel it. I think it was in August. I tried and feel it was four months left to the end of the year and leave it alone. When, yeah. when would your appointment be up? I mean, I guess if you're yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure. End of the year. Probably the end of the year. It's either, yeah, it's yeah. Either, either reset every year or every two, I honestly don't know. And the only, like, again, for clarity's sake, the only reason I put this on the, on the agenda is because I discussed yeah. it with Mark and he said, thought we should have this discussion. Okay. Otherwise, I would have told him, you know, well, this is what it is, too. But well, you don't want to be on. Do something different. It's up to you. Well, like I said, I would be on, but I need to be notified. And if, if she needs a letter from the commission to inform her that she needs to inform me, then I'm more than willing to. I mean, it's a great group of guys. But it's kind of hard to, to go to a meeting when nobody tells you when it is. There is no term. She said it's just standing. No term. So we just don't <coughs> appoint until you're not appointed again. Well, I guess, seeing as you're the appointee, I, I feel most comfortable going along with what you desire. I mean, I, I think that it should really fall to you if you want to stay on the board. I, I, I wanted to be on the board. Yeah, I absolutely know. I had people request me to be on the board. Okay. 
So should we should we draft a letter then, or what, what would be the inclination, I guess, of the of the commission? Should we go again? That's what you wish. Is it is it possible that we can? Try to try to be a little bit more cordial on our request first before sending a letter. And I know you've already asked, but maybe I'll move on with that. I mean, it's just just that I think I think we're going to come across a lot of what Jeff is saying about a working yeah, relationship. Yeah, if and, and that's fine. Yeah. If if you can if, if can we can make a phone call and, and get it set, I'm fine with that. Absolutely. I just didn't like the fact that you know we talked about it after the meeting, and I wasn't there. I mean, yeah, and I guess I, I'll come from the aspect of my only concern is is that if we, and I, I, I agree, we, we don't need to bend backwards or anything. I mean, we, we make the decision because that's our decision. But if we send a letter and it still doesn't change, <laughs> you know, we don't really have any recourse, so to speak. I mean, you know, other than, yeah. that, other than to then just make a change, you know. We're sending taxpayer dollars that way, right? Yeah, fifteen thousand. So I mean, we want representation there, obviously. Yeah. Well, I think part of it is the lack of having a, a quorum at times to to conduct business. There's a, a limited number of voting members on that committee, and yeah. And How big is it? I, I don't even. It's know. not a real big. It's not a big one. Right? I'm not going to try to three or five or something. No. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I think they have a city and a, and a county representative. And I don't know if the Lake Region Anglers have a, have yeah, a they, voting they member. Have a vote. Do they have a yeah. vote? The park board has a vote yeah. as well. Yeah, because yeah, they take care of a lot of their, yeah. their contracts with the cleaning and stuff like that. Yeah. So, the county has a vote, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. County, city, park board, and then the Anglers, and I'm thinking if there's one more or not. There is. It might just be four. A few more. You know, like I said, you can work with them today. If, if that gets a phone call that says, you know, I, I need to get a letter, I will absolutely stay. You know, I don't miss meetings. It's not that I'm missing these meetings because I don't want to go. You know, Mark, I'm going to have to disagree there because you certainly weren't at the fair board meeting last night. I was yeah. unaware of that one. Yeah. There, there again, I don't know if, if you get those emails like, hey, if you're not getting an email, and you know, I don't know how Rodney gets let know because he doesn't do email either. I don't know, might have been there, Jeff. Well, you, you know, there's. It was on the front page of the paper for several times, you know, in the little meeting notices there. Um, you know, and I, and I think these committee meeting, these committees, they're important enough for us to to attend them. And if we if we can't make it, it's understandable because we're all busy. Um, it, it, but by all means, let somebody know. It, you know, I'd be happy to fill in with somebody if I can make it. Um, and if I can't, you know, I'll let you know. Uh, but uh, I think it's important for the county to to have representation on the that we're asked to, to sit on and you know if if they're sending notices out via email and you're not getting those notices I'm not sure how to, how to deal with that mark and you deal with it and somebody else can do it I'm fine with that I have asked Adam to go to several board meetings for me and like I said I don't want to be the guy who's missing meetings, because I've had Adam, I've called Adam and said, "Hey, I can't make this meeting. Will you take it?" So, yeah, there's been a couple different times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've tried to do the same thing a couple times. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember which one yeah. was it? Jeff went for oh, the third one. Yeah. Up at Cape Cod. Okay. No, things things like that work, but we need we need to communicate. You know, um, as a board, as a committee, whatever you want to call it. So, <clears throat> I understand the frustration. I, uh, we, when, in March, we failed to achieve a quorum at the library board, and that, I mean, 
understand it is tough, but but I also understand the other side of it, which is I feel like I'm running from meeting to meeting all, right. all the time, and it's a lot. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. If there's a comical situation, what if somebody come along and wanted to form another committee and like? <laughs> <laughs> no, no more no committees. We got it done. No, no more committees. Trim some of them down there, like meet every other month or something. Let's make, let's make a committee to let's, trim committees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a committee of committees. If we trim them down, then they, well, they can't do their business every month. We need, a, we need, a, we need, we need the, the Donald Trump ruling committees where if one's formed, two have well, to be well, well, I also think that as a political subdivision, and I'm sure that's what the Lake Access Committee would be since they're publicly funded to an extent, they, they should publish those meetings at the first of the year. For their, for their <coughs> calendar year, just like everybody else has to do. Yeah, they, you know, they, they send them to the auditor, they send them to the paper, what, whatever. Well, they, you know, it should yeah. be done. Yeah. You know, you get my part of the public, you know, records. Right. Yeah. 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 That's, that's part of the whole public records meeting law is that public entities publish, set their meeting dates the first part of the year. And, I mean, we do it as a county commission. You know, come January or whatever, we set those meeting dates, and you know, uh, right. Um, so, and, and I think I think uh, most political subdivisions do that, and I think the Lake Access Committee should be no exception. They should be able to set their meetings, whether it's quarterly, whether it's every two months, whether it's whatever. They should be able to set those in January, give them to Candy, give them to Lend over at the city and carry it to the park board and uh, we can make arrangements to go. You know, that, that would be the easy thing to do. You know, is to have a 12 month calendar in front of me in January and then I can put those committee dates down in my little Franklin Tubby deal or whatever I'm using for a calendar. Um, <clears throat> Well, is it is it a quarterly meeting? Is it a monthly? Is it? I think I, mean, I think during the busy season or monthly. I think I believe that. I think they're monthly. Like, then they slow down. Now I do. I don't know. Every other month. But, you know, how the hell do they approve bills? They do it every other month. I think they. I think it's a monthly. <coughs> okay, I, I was. Because they have that cleaning contract that they have to approve bills yeah, for that. Yeah, they have a month. They're supposed to suffer for the cleaning contract. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was that. One of the last meetings when I when I did find out about it, I did go to, and that was the awarding of the contract for the fish equipment stations. Okay. Well, so I circle back to the initial question of what what are the intents what what is what is the uh, intent of the commission? What would we like to do? Is it is it possible for us to table the issue? Uh, and give it a meeting or two of this body uh, and see if we can't work it out cordially to every party's, you know, that's fine. I, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it's still an issue, several, one or two meetings from now, we can we can revisit it and take whatever yeah, action is deemed appropriate then. Do you have a motion on that? I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to table discussion on the Lake Access Board of Women. My only question would be how do we how do we want to approach it? Would you like would you like me to go visit with Susie or uh, you know, obviously I'll take that on being on the chair. Sure. Thank you. Sit on a visit. Yeah. Thank you. And and we can figure out some type of an agreement and see where we're gonna go. So. Okay. Further discussion. Seeing none, all in favor vote by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed same sign, motion carries. Actually, table and motion is not debatable, so <laughs> shouldn't ask for discussion. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, okay. Next on new business. Uh, approve law enforcement center reentry center goal. Uh, in there large. <laughs> I think it's ninety-seven thousand in change for the law enforcement center and ten thousand in change for the reentry center. You want them individually or want to uh, work together? Uh, I guess I, I think it's fine to we'll approve them together. We'll go approve. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the bills to the <coughs> center and the law enforcement center. Further discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, roll call, please. Wait, 
It's not saying this is the elevation that the all advisory or any committee would like to see the lake at, but this is what we believe that the capacity of the pumps can capably reduce the lake level to. And what's our current lake level? 49.6. Okay. Um, and that would probably be, uh, you know, I, I may mention before the meeting that Mayor Johnson was on this morning at coffee time and yeah. he said that 48, so I'm wondering if that must be from the State Water Commission, must be kind of hoping that's yeah. the target. For uh, well, that, that was the, the target last year, and it, it would be a, probably a reasonable goal, um, something that we could achieve this year with the operation of the outlets. Um, you know, to, to stretch it, we could possibly stretch it to a 47 and a half, um, but that's given if the pumps were to operate at full capacity for the entire operating season, which we're already two weeks into, and they, you know, no sign of, of them getting in a monsoon because the ice has to be off the lake and the river has to be below flood stage downstream. So, you know, I don't think there's any flooding concerns downstream, but certainly with 36, 35 inches of ice on the lake, it's going to be a lot. So, last year we had this meeting and in May, but it was asked by the agricultural producers to have it a little earlier so they could get in, be able to attend the meeting without parking the tractor and the way the springs work. So, which is another Shelter is doing a, uh, a homeless uh, simulation again, like they did previously in March, because they had such good attendance. They're hoping that they're doing the poverty simulation, not homelessness, excuse me, poverty. Uh, and apparently, it went over. Uh, it was very educational. The one they had in March, so they decided to do uh, a second run. So they're doing that tomorrow night, uh, and then next week, and I, I can't remember the date. I believe it's the 24th as well. Uh -huh. Uh, is the uh, free through recovery is having a community collaborative meeting to kind of inform the community what's going on and to hear any concerns about what's going on with that. Uh, and that'll be at the Heritage Center uh, sometime in the afternoon. I think it's like a 4.30 or 5 o'clock start, but I can't recall specifically. So just something to have on your radar. Uh, I'm sure we have. It's probably, it's, it's been announced, so let's put it that way. So. Uh, other than that, I can't think anything right now. Any other announcements? Yeah, well, you see me tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock if anybody's interested. Um, there's a uh, Home Rule Charter Committee meeting at 1.30 on Wednesday, April 25th. Uh, the final draft of the, or not the final, I'm sorry, the initial draft of the charter has been completed and now we're going to go back and I think there's going to be some uh, uh, vivid discussion on uh, how, how best to proceed in, in carrying it down and ensuring that it's the right document for this uh, county. Uh, so I'm excited for that, and I hope that everyone who wants to attend attends. Um, and in addition to that, I wanted to say that the Heritage Center had its annual gala uh, last weekend, and it was a very good success. Uh, we raised. Uh, very, very close to the same amount that we raised last year, and given that we had so much upheaval with respect to the board and with respect to uh, the employees that we had there, um, I think that, that counts as a good success. There were a lot of young people in attendance, which was impressive to me, uh, not something I've seen a lot at many of these events. Uh, with respect to the library, as I mentioned, we failed to uh, have a quorum at the last meeting. We managed to have a quorum for this meeting. Um, I sent out an email to the board members that all of them basically saying I was very disappointed in the fact that they seem perennially unable to make their meetings and to let them know that if this commitment was too much for them, uh, that, that they might consider stepping aside to, to allow for someone who might have the time to do it to do it. Um, in addition to that, uh, we are moving forward on the memorial garden. We had two bids. 
uh, from different uh, local contractors to, to, to do the work on that. Uh, and we'll be moving forward with that. There was some great discussion on that. We're very excited to have some, some drawings to look at and that sort of thing. I think that might be it. Okay. Any further announcements? Unless you want to talk about the planning hearing, the public hearing that we had for the planning commission. Um, and that was, when was that, last? Last Tuesday night. Last Tuesday night, yeah. Um, we're going to try to get together again and hopefully finish that up. The difficult thing is trying to get everybody scheduled to work out. There are some things at the end that we need to, to button up and, and have some further discussion on. We may have a meeting of, of the Planning Commission um, prior to the public hearing just to make sure that everybody's on board of what was decided that night. You know, did we make the right decisions? You know, what is everybody tired? Um, and, you know, it, it was a long, long meeting and, you know, towards the end we maybe approved some things. I don't know. If if everybody fully either understood them or was in favor of them. So something that, you know, as we move forward. And the other thing I think that that committee can can look at would be the medical marijuana issues. Um, Kerry has uh, sent me oh, three or four different county um, that have adopted some regulations concerning medical marijuana. And we can take a look at those and see how we want to move ahead with with something like that, um, you know, about involving Joel and, you know, so to have something. That, as a committee, we could recommend to, to send to him to put in, in the uh, packet where it belonged. Yeah, thank you. The, the state has, the health has something. The, the, the health department has something, and I think that's where these other counties have based their their plans on. They want a lot of that one. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think some counties have, have added additional stuff just because yeah. the, 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 the health departments are kind of like the baseline guidelines in terms of you have to have this and this and this. Well, you know, I don't, it, it doesn't specify specifically how far, you know, if you wanted to keep it away from a city or if you wanted to require more additional security and things like that. Right. Uh, I actually, I was reading about that last week. Morton County actually already had a... Uh, and turned they, it down. They, they turned it down. Yep. A growth facility permit application. <clears throat> growth facility. Yes, for the large growth facility out next to St. Anthony or something like that. And they, they, they anticipate like two? There's two growth facilities across the state, but we don't know where they're going to be. And right. part of the contingency with the growth facilities, how I understood it in the article, was they can't move forward with their application until they have approval by whoever the zoning board is in that area that they can cite it in that location. So that group that was going to possibly have one is now kind of back to the drawing board in terms of if they could put it someplace else or... And I know there's, there's some local interest um, with both dispensary and growth facility within our area, so it's something that we need to get... Yeah. Well, and we're, we're definitely going to have a dispensary, so... Right. Yeah. Um, and as we spoke about previously, I think the, the chances of having a dispensary outside of town are probably less so than having it in town, but the Crow facility, I guess, in my mind, is more of a concern in terms of where is it. And, and Morton County's concept was uh, where the location was was too far from Maine, you know, like from Mandan, so <coughs> like if there was some type of a break-in or some type of a concern that the Sheriff's Department was going to be uh, stretched in getting there consistently within a timely manner. Sure. How are you? Are we interested in a growth facility or how stringent do you want the zoning? I think we haven't had that discussion yet. Um, I, I don't know if it's interesting. Is it a money maker? Is it, can you collect no, taxes? There's, there's got to be property taxes well, on anything that's built there. Greater tax, tax than if it was online, then maybe you'd expect to be more than that, but I don't know how much more that would. Yeah. My only concern would be that if we don't have any kind of zoning in, enabled for it, then we, if, if, it's the intent of the people of the county that they don't want it here, and they show up at a public hearing for it. There's no, no way to stop it. I agree with that. <laughs> you know, how stringent do you want to make the zoning rules? You know, do you want well, and I to scare everybody off, or do you want to run around? You know, I mean, if they don't follow the zoning, right? And I yeah. think uh, to to speak to that, um, and because I sit on that board, I think that that I don't know for a certainty 
that all of the different board members have had a kind of a meeting of the minds and understanding, at least I don't feel that I have obtained an understanding of where some of the board members are facing uh, sort of their philosophical arguments towards or against things, uh, and that probably is my own fault. Um, but I do have some significant concerns with some of the decisions that have been made by the board, um, and I made the votes to prove it. So. Not just about growing facilities on marijuana. That, I mean, that's right. Everything. Yeah. Well, and, and that's a good discussion to have because we haven't finalized anything as of yet. So those are discussions we can, we can continue to have as we move forward. Yeah, and it, yeah, since it's an ordinance, it's still going to have to be read twice a year for public hearing and everything else. There's still plenty of time to yeah. iron out any wrinkles or details or yeah. anything of that nature. So. But it's always easier when you have a really good quality document that everyone can get on board with right. when it comes to this level. So. Yeah, something easy to easy to follow and, and usable, user friendly. You know, uh, don't put it on the shelf and um, let it collect dust for forty years. Sure. Well, I think that's the next discussion afterwards. Is right. in in all the discussions and talking with different people from the townships that are going to still retain their own zoning authority. Is how do we administer? the zoning mm -hmm. and planning, yep. and how do we help support the townships to do it in their own right. And I think that's something we're going to have to talk about once we get this enacted, about right. how we can enable that to happen somehow, <laughs> but yep. not incurring a ton of cost, hopefully. Right. Well, I know the city had a meeting two weeks ago, and if I remember, they had to be a thousand feet from a daycare, a thousand feet from a school, so the kind of conversation was they basically ruled all of downtown out. You know, because you have a daycare over there and you got a school over here. They basically, you know, so that's pushed it already out probably to the Highway 2 corridor. I mean, this wasn't a growth facility. No, this no, was just, just, just the dispensary. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they modified that to just say school. Just school. And I know they were I discussing believe. school and church at that time too, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, yeah you get a thousand feet from school or church. There's a lot of churches in town, too, that are spread out. You can get a lot of downtown improvements. Traffic, I think. Yeah, I'd be kind of advertising. I'd be a little concerned as a, as a owner of some real estate about the blowback I'd get if I put somebody into one of my buildings. Yeah, I, I'd just mm -hmm. ask him. Yeah, because you can't advertise or anything on the building. Can't have yeah. only advertising on Which is order. kind of yeah, interesting. Yeah, no, no, you can't have a big flashing pot. It's not like when you go to Las Vegas no. and they literally have no. billboards. Hey, go buy some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What was the name of that street in San Francisco? They had them out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 flashing pot. Come buy some. Come buy some. That's a long time. And I have heard too that they're going to put some humongous permit fees out there too. Because it's a lot of money there. Non-refundable. Non-refundable money. The city so is what you're saying. I mean, yeah. one, city of the, one of the things that I think about the zoning ordinances is, is we may want to have it worded in such a way that whatever applies to medical specific marijuana will also apply to fully legalized marijuana because if trends continue we'd just be going back and rewriting that document in five years ago. And that's, that, that's not making a statement about what my own personal philosophy is at all. I'm just saying that it looks like she's going that way. Yeah, it certainly does. With, if you look at the, the vote numbers on medical <coughs> marijuana, you know, overwhelmingly succeeded in a public vote. And, you know, unfortunately, we, we've, in, in the state, we've drug our feet. And, and I think that we've drug it long enough where it's going to turn now to a recreational. And, you know, medical and recreational, it's not going to matter. Yeah. You and know, I, mean, I mean, if I was a betting man, I'd say yeah. we're going to get to recreational even here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and if that's the case, I just instead of saying, you know, yeah. medical marijuana dispensary, just say marijuana dispensary and then you're good. Right? Right. 